Hello, everybody. Welcome to another opening of Lethal Rays Breaks. Thank you for stopping by. Today, we're going to be doing a BGS uh, grading reveal that I did a submission with uh, my dude, 502 Frank. And, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you guys already know 502 Frank. There's his channel. In case you've never checked him out, please go check him out. He does all the, he does everything that has to do with the hobby. So go check him out. Uh, he's awesome. So that was my, my second BGS submission with him. I did a 30 day with him before uh, earlier, like a few months ago, but I know that BGS is way behind on uh, just like PSA with all the grading. So, uh, and, and in some ways it's ridiculous, uh, especially the way what they charge uh, and uh, the turnaround time is. But anyways, uh, luckily we got, I was able to do a five day grading um, with, uh, with Frank before they raised the price to a hundred. So well, we were able to get those in for the $48 at uh, 502 Frank charged. So um, if you guys haven't uh, checked it out, go check out his submission. He, uh, I don't think he's still doing 30 day BGS, but he also does PSA at good prices too. So go check it out, check him out for sure. So I did about, uh, I think I did four cards for this uh, BGS. Uh, submission my my good my good friend uh, Rugens he did three cards so um, BGS is I, I want to say before I even open these they're, they're tough so just as PC, PSA is nowadays so that's at least that's what I hear so um, you know got some grades that uh, I mean you'll see let's reveal them so you can see it because I watched uh, I already watched these uh, when Frank 502 Frank uh, revealed them on his channel so uh, let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up All right, not knock the camera down. Oh, hopefully this is not too. Hopefully it's not damaged because I saw the box was a little bit banged up. But uh, I feel that Frank too Frank knows how to package. Yeah, he sure does. Look at that. Now that's packaging right there. Thanks, <laughs> thanks Frank too. Appreciate you, man. All right, here we go, guys. This is the reveal. Uh, so we have what uh, seven cards. So this shouldn't take too long. Let's see. I'm not even opening these right. There we go. Look at that. More protection. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I'm just going to go as... Um, I'm going to turn on this way. So I kind of saw what the last card was. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh, I want to save that one to the end. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's get this trash out of the way. And let's reveal. All right, first card. A Zion Green uh, got a nine. So if you guys, do, uh, I'll, I'll link the reveal to uh, 502 Frank's uh, submission there. And um, you'll see that the Zions are really, they're really tough on Zion. And you'll see on the next card, they're really, they were really uh, tough on uh, Luca. So this is mine, Green, that I pulled uh, from Prism. Uh, you can see centering nine, corners nine, edges nine point five, surface nine. Um, I know the centering wasn't always good on this one, so, um, but yeah, I was a, a point away from a gem, a, a nine point five that is. So, anyways, okay, so that's that one. Next one, Luca, red, white, and blue got an eight near mint, um, mint. So unfortunately, I. I I didn't have my hopes up high for this one, considering um, I, I know there was some surface damage on this one. Some <laughs> it looked like bite marks on the left there. This is why I sent it to BGS, hoping I could hit a nine. But unfortunately, like I said, uh, BGS and PSA out here is uh, pretty tough on uh, Lucas rookies. Pretty sure they're trying to control the uh, the pop population on these. Um, so that one got an eight. So even though, so I'll still take it. It's still Luca. So, can never go wrong with the Luca rookie. So, all right. Next one, this is Rugens. This is a Jason Tatum uh, rookie auto. This one got an 8.5, unfortunately, but uh, I don't know why this one got an 8.5, to be honest. Um, to me, it looked pretty clean. The corners got an 8.5. I know these are thicker cards, so I know they're always usually tougher to, to grade. But the, uh, the auto got a 9. And I mean, I'm not really sure. I know 502 said it was a little streaky, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. So yeah, bummer, but still, it's a rookie, so still a nice card. So I'll put that one down away. Let's put these here just so you guys can see them. Trash out of here. All right, next one. This one's mine. Finally, true gem mint. Zion Williamson silver. 
This one got a nine five nine five nine five nine. So I know that the nine was there's a little I don't know it's like a surface scratch or something right there. So I know it's kind of tough to see it's right there. So uh, I know that that wasn't going to get a nine point five, but I am happy that I did get a true gem on that one. So that's that's a real nice one for sure. Okay, let's put this one up. Sorry, sorry guys. Okay. Uh, we'll save this one to the last, last. There we go. I know which one I'm saving last. All right. Here's a real nice one that belongs to my boy Ruggs. Donovan Mitchell, gold from Vanguard, 9.5. He got all 9.5s with the exception of corners, which, like I said, yet again, those thick cards are tough on the corners. So that, very nice, true gem mint, Donovan Mitchell. 2 of 10. Very, a really nice one to have right now because I know he is balling out with those nuggets. So, very, very nice card. Congratulations, Rugens. That's a banger. All right. And if you guys remember this one, my LeBron Gold Wave. I know there was a printing line on it. This one broke my heart because <laughs> you can see it's silver. This one got a 9 mint. I was really hoping this would gem. Uh, would gem. But... Look at the grades. Centering, 9.5. Edges, 9.5. Corners and surface got 9s. 0.5 away from true uh, gem mint. So, unfortunate. Uh, but maybe in the future I might go ahead and resub this one. And maybe I'll get a nicer grader and maybe get that true mint. So, uh, unfortunate. But, you know, at least it's just 0.5 away from true gem mint. So, I might have to resub this one one more time and see if I get it a better or a, a, a nicer grader you know what i mean so very nice card though still regardless and last but not least big congratulations to my boy rugens on this banger absolute limitless five out of 25 this is a level two true gem mint with a 10 autograph beautiful card congratulations rugens I am jealous. I personally, I personally pulled two of these, one a level two and a level one, and sold it during the season last year. So, um, but hey, I still have some other Lucas left. But anyways, regardless of that, this is an awesome, awesome card. So definitely my favorite of the whole bunch, and I'm very happy that uh, that you know Rugens didn't do what I did and sold it. So, anyways, those are the cards, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, rough. I mean, we got three Drew Gem Mints and uh, and then all the rest were under. So, but you know, it's fine. That's the way it goes nowadays. So, I will be sending that LeBron eventually to uh, get uh, regraded and then see what happens. So, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Not going to be a giveaway for this one, but remember, I got Chronicles coming up next, and then I also have Illusions coming. So, please be on the lookout for those uh, this um, this coming week. So. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate you all. Uh, good luck on your openings and hit those bangers. Cheers.